Hi class, miss you already. Uh, these notes are going to go along with Math Excel um, 10.1 that I created. So I picked some questions off from there that I wanted to model how to do it. And that way you have an idea. Um, also use the Help Me Solve This button or view an example if you get stuck. And always feel free to email me. Um, here is the formula sheet. We're going to be looking at area of a triangle, which is A equals one half times base times height. And we're going to review how to find the area of a parallelogram. And area is equal to base times height. Remember the height has to be perpendicular to the base, has to make a 90 degree angle. So snip a picture of this. If you need to look back at these formulas, you'll need those two, the triangle and the parallelogram for area. Okay, and here are the problems. So the first one I'm going to go through, there's about five problems I'm going to do with you, is find the area of this parallelogram. And by the way, if you want to write down these notes, I'm including a blank copy as well on the Blackboard site. All right, so find the area of the parallelogram. We just said A is equal to base times height. So we got to find a base and we got to find a height. Well, if you look at your picture, your height always makes an H. So this one we're going to use as the height because there's the long skinny H there. And whatever side that hits is considered your base. So 4.2 is your height. And then this side is the base and this side is the side that's parallel to that and we know parallelograms are equal on each side so if this side is 2.3 then this side is also 2.3 so the numbers that I would use is base would be 2.3 and height would be 4.2 and then you multiply both of those to get the area and that would be your answer and it's inches squared because it's area area square inches or inches squared so this is 9.66 all right so important thing is look for a height that makes an H so there's my H my upside down H and that always hits with the base okay question two we got to work backwards they tell us the area of a parallelogram is 30 square feet and the height is 5. Find the length of the corresponding base. So this one you're going to work backwards. Area equals base times height. N for area is going 30 because my area is 30 square feet and the height is 5. So base is, you can leave it as a B or lots of you like to just put X. X times 5. Um, you could put this on Desmos if you needed to, or you just know, divide by 5 on each side. 30 divided by 5 is 6, so 6 is equal to x. So the length is going to be 6 feet. Um, let's try the area of this triangle, though the picture's terrible here. But now we're moving on to triangles. Um, triangles are one half times base times height. And the good news with this is you're still looking for a base and a height just like you were before. So if you look at this picture that's very hard to see, you can see that that's the height right there. That's the H. So whatever number that is, I can't read it, that would be the height. And then your base hits that H sits on this side so this length right here I think it says 2 here and 6 here so you would do 2 plus 6 so the base would be 8 so in this case I would do 1 half times the 8 for the base times the height I can't read that but I think it says 8 as well and then you would multiply 1 half times 8 times 8 um, if your calculator you're using at home doesn't have one half, you can always replace that with a 0.5 and then times 8 times 8. Or there's always the Desmos app. Feel free to use that as well. All right, moving on. Um, I'm not going to do this one with you, but I think you can figure it out. This is a right triangle this time. And if we rotate our paper this way, I can see that this is my height still and my height always sits on a base. 
So that would be the height, and that number would be the base. So 1 half times base times height. Um, this one's going to be the same way. This is an obtuse triangle. So if I look here, this number right here is your height. And I need a base with this one and it always sits on your base. Remember, you're actually looking at the triangle, so this nine right here for a height, I'd actually sit from here to here. This one would be your base. Okay, um, the next one says for the following lines, graph the lines and then find the area of the triangle. And it's very hard to see, but it says y equals x plus 1, y equals 1, and x equals 3. So if you don't know what those look like, you would graph them on Desmos. I'm going to show you right here. They would be, this one has a y-intercept of 1, and the slope is 1, so up 1 to the right 1. So that's what that one would look like. And then the y equals 1 is a horizontal line at 1, so it would look like that x equals 3 is up and down, vertical, at 3. So 1, 2, 3, and so hopefully you can see that triangle right there. And then you find the area of that triangle. You could either, um, I would count a base and a height here to be, to get into good habits. So 1 half times the length of the base, just count, times the height. Alright, and then that is it for that. That bottom one is going to be saved for the next lesson. Alright, so email me if you need help, more help than that.